One Kansas City developer is venturing into her first retail project to try to provide with her community with what they need. Fox 4's Kevin Berry learned about a project on the city's east side. From this corner on 27th and Benton, there isn't a grocery store for about a mile to the south, and your only food options are even farther away to the north. That's why Kay White bought this corner convenience store. She's fixing it up to bring food, housing, and a place for the community to gather and get to know their neighbors in what's now a food desert. The building has always been a convenience store, and we will keep it as a convenience store. So the people who live in the same neighborhood where Kay White was born and raised don't have to buy or borrow cars to get the food they need. Marlon Hammonds runs the Washington Wheatley Neighborhood Association. It could be better. I remembered when it was as close as three blocks away, but those days are gone, and this is what we have now. The same street corner where Marlon once owned a dry cleaners will now have two two-bedroom apartments with retail space on the corner of 27th and Agnes. One block west, the old convenience store will have fresh fruit and vegetables with a coffee shop next door to help build the community that years of disinvestment has muted. Even the paint outside tries to make people feel better. The colors were created that even on a, a cloudy day is bright over here. It wasn't easy. Kay bought the old convenience store at the end of 2021 and shut it down last summer to do these renovations. The price tag is large and she has some help from the city, but even with her own money in the project, getting financing in a historically redlined part of town is still a modern day battle. I don't like to call it a disadvantaged neighborhood. I don't like to call it a blighted neighborhood. I just like to call it a neighborhood that needs a, that has a need. The plan is to open back up again later this summer, about a year after all that renovation work started. Kevin Barry, Fox 4 News.